Lithium-ion batteries are widely used energy sources due to their high energy density, large cycle life and no memory effect for recharging. They are used in smartphones, electric bicycles and cars, foreseen also for large stationary energy storage. The lithium-ion battery is based on the conversion of electrical energy to electrochemical during charging and vice versa, the conversion of stored electrochemical energy to electrical during battery use. During battery charging and discharging, lithium ions play a major role. They move from cathode to anode during charging and then back when discharging. Further development of lithium ion batteries focuses on the increase of their capacity and simultaneously it aims to reduce their volume and mass. It will result, for instance, in a wider range of electric cars. Charging rate and cycle life, that is, the maximum number of charging discharging cycles, are very important as well. These characteristics depend on how effectively the lithium ions move during the charging and discharging process and where they reside Meanwhile, a serious problem can be the formation of regions with a high concentration of metallic lithium, so called lithium plating, and the formation of lithium dendrites. The growth of dendrites through the electrode separator in combination with a flammable organic electrolyte can ignite the battery. One of the promising trends in the development of lithium ion batteries is the replacement of the liquid electrolyte and separator by a solid electrolyte. The transfer of lithium ions within the battery is usually studied indirectly by electrochemical methods. Nevertheless, a unique analytical technique exists which can directly determine the temporal and spatial distribution of lithium ions. It is neutron depth profiling, which is based on the measurement of the energy of particles resulting from thermal neutron capture in a lighter lithium isotope, lithium-6. The products of this nuclear reaction, triton and alpha particles, have a well-defined energy. When passing through matter, they lose a part of their energy in proportion to the depth of their origin, so that the difference between the original energy and the energy after the particle escapes from the material measured by a detector can be precisely converted to the depth of its origin, hence determining the position of the lithium ion. Therefore, the dependence of concentration of lithium ions on depth can be obtained by accumulating a sufficient number of such events. The method is very sensitive to lithium and boron. Very low concentration can be measured within a relatively short time. Furthermore, the method is non-destructive and the neutron beam used as a probe is charge neutral. The depth resolution is between 10 and 50 nanometers. Maximum detection depth depends on the type of studied material. It ranges from 3 to 70 micrometers. The detection limit is about 0.1 lithium monolayer. Thanks to these properties, the neutron depth profiling method is an excellent tool for the investigation of lithium ion transfer in prospective materials for rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, in half-cell samples and in thin, all-solid-state lithium-ion batteries. The non-destructive character and high sensitivity of the method enable the performance of in-situ or operando experiments. The spatial and temporal distribution of lithium can be measured in thin samples of all solid state lithium ion batteries during charging and discharging. The example is an investigation of an ultra thin lithium battery 
consisting of lithium manganese oxide cathode, solid electrolyte lipon, niobium oxide anode, and of two titanium current collectors. We determine the distribution of lithium ions at various stages of the charging and discharging process. It's valuable information, both for dealing with the problems of present battery types and for further development of new types of rechargeable solid-state lithium batteries. Besides the topical research and development of lithium-ion batteries, the neutron depth profiling method can be exploited for the determination of lithium, boron, helium or nitrogen distribution in several other research domains. For example, in electronics, profiling of boron in semiconductor components. In solar cells, profiling of boron in solar panels. In magnetism, profiling of boron in novel superstrong neodymium magnets. In polymers, profiling of boron in novel polymers. In corrosion protection, profiling of boron in boron nitride nanosheets for metal coating. In tribology, profiling of boron in new boron rich materials with high surface hardness. In aerospace, profiling of lithium in aluminium lithium alloys used in aircraft components. In optoelectronics, profiling of lithium in optical modulators or switches or in optical fibres. In biology, detection of lithium in brain tissue, where lithium plays an important role.